Hi guys, I'm Dr. Zain from zainspace.com. Welcome back to my channel. And now we all know that confidence fluctuates, as I've said in a previous video or, you know, more than one. Confidence doesn't stay in one place. It's not static. It's not permanent. So you could have high confidence in one domain of your life and have low confidence in another domain of your life. But at the same time, when it comes to your overall self-confidence, you could have this high self-confidence at this moment and at another moment or on another day, you could just discover that you have very low self-confidence. That is what I refer to as fluctuating self-confidence. So so, but when that happens, as it's, you know, it is bound to happen to every one of us from time to time, what can you do? There are a couple of things you can do, but in this video, I'm going to give you three things that you can do when your self-confidence fluctuates. Now, the first thing is that you need to figure out what it is that is causing the, you know the fluctuating self-confidence. One of the things you can do is to keep a journal. If you already keep a journal, then you know just how that works. And if you do not you know, if you have trouble keeping a journal, then um, you can use the free ebook containing the, the journal prompts that I have made available to you guys. The link is in the description box below. Um, keeping the journal and just expressing yourself will help you get in touch with, you know, your feelings and certain parts of yourself that you might have suppressed or that you might have forgotten about that you were not even aware of. That's just one of the beautiful things about journaling. So you can do that. And then when you figure out what it is, so is it that you are spending time with someone that is telling you, you know, for instance, you, you spend time with someone and the person is, and you've told the person, you know, you want to be a writer, you want to start your own business or you want to, you know, start a podcast and the person is telling you how, you know, podcast is already too late for you to start a podcast. Anyway, everyone has started like years ago and it's already saturated. The same thing applies to somebody who has a relationship with a narcissistic person or, you know, has a narcissistic friend or, you know, family member or whatever and you know whenever you spend time with them they they just find ways to bring you down and gaslight you and make you feel, you make you feel as if there's something wrong with you there's no way you can hang out with them and listen to all what they're saying and still feel confident um even if you've managed to get your confidence back whenever you're away from them so just find ways of you know avoiding them if it's possible if it's not possible then make sure you have other avenues where you can you know through which you can get your confidence back basically now the second thing is that i've noticed that most times when people struggle with their confidence um they have to start with the self-talk nobody i read something somewhere they said nobody can make you feel worthless without your consent so if somebody is going to make you feel down or worthless or you know have self-doubt then you have to have consented with it to it you have to have agreed to allowing the person to make you feel down which is just so insightful right um one of the ways in which we consent is to repeat whatever people say to us in our heads so that example that i gave of the person in a narcissistic relationship for instance whenever they, they spend time with themselves whenever they are in their heads and something happens the narcissistic abusive person doesn't have to be there for them to go and start saying you know i'm 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 dumb i'm foolish i don't know what i'm doing wow there's something really wrong with me just saying all these things and and sometimes they might realize it sometimes they might not realize it and over time it just becomes a part of them so that whenever anything happens they i don't know how you can have in fact it's not that i don't know there's no way you can have that kind of self-talk that kind of rhetoric in your head to yourself continuously and think that you're going to have a positive relationship with yourself and think that you're going to have you know high self-confidence it's not possible it's just not possible so if you are experiencing you know fluctuation in your self-confidence then you want to look inward and figure out the kind of self-talk you have and if it's anything short of positive then you want to work on changing that right so change yourself so is the second tip basically now the third tip is to figure out something you are good at so look for something that you know you are really good at and go and do it so whenever your self-confidence -conf fluctuates, it's just going to do something you're really good at. Doing something we are good at or just knowing that we are good at something is a great way to help us build our self-confidence. And so whenever you're experiencing fluctuation, fluctuations in your self-confidence, you could go there and do that. And it will help you make feel good about yourself again and make you feel like, okay, maybe there is something worthy about myself after all. If you don't know what you are good at, as some people do not, then you can simply look at the things that interest you. 
definitely you will know one or two things that interest you and just go and do one of those things and that will have not the exact same effect as doing something you are good at but it will have a somewhat similar effect to that and you know along the way you can work on figuring out something that you are really good at and then you know work on it and work on it and just perfect it so that you will know that you are really good at this one thing and just having that knowledge and engaging in that thing every once in a while is going to help you maintain a high self-confidence basically so in summary if you are experiencing fluctuations in your self-confidence the first thing is to figure out what is causing that dip in your self-confidence and get rid of it in some way. The second thing is to change your self-talk from negative to positive if it is appropriate, um, i.e. if that is what is happening inside. And the third thing is to do something you are really good at or at the very least do something that interests you. And that should help turn things around. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much you guys who have been watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. I find I, I feel very appreciative of you guys and I'm so grateful. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get alerted whenever I post. And thank you so much for sharing this video with your friends and family and I will see you next time.